Hey guys, Awesome Arcades. Today is April 12th. Uh, there's some brand new options that are available for this. This is my ultimate cocktail table. And so keep checking back on the website if you're interested in this product. I'm gonna be making a much more thorough and professional video. Uh, and that's gonna be coming out, today's the 12th, so probably uh, April 13th or 14th. But for now, I just wanted to discuss uh, a couple of brand new features that just became available in the last few days and get this video online so people can see it. So first of all, this is the Ultimate Cocktail. Uh, if you're new to Ultimate Cocktails or these three-sided, I call mine the Ultimate, the three-sided cocktails, what these cabinets can do that other cabinets can't. So, you know, your standard cocktail just has the joystick over there and over there. This one has this additional panel here. So what this allows you to do is to play side scroll games which are called horizontal. So horizontal games are played on a TV that is installed in landscape. So if you took your TV at home and just put it right down in the cabinet, you'd be able to play games like Super Mario Brothers, Asteroids, Defender. If you wanted to play games like Ms. Pac-Man, you actually have to have a cabinet where they take the TV from horizontal and they turn it into portrait. And so if you took that portrait TV and put it down in the cabinet, you'd be able to play Games like Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Frogger, Galaga. Uh, and those are the kind of games that flip back and forth. So for example, and I'll show you in a second, if you wanted to play Miss Pac-Man, you'd press two players over here. Player one would play, and then the screen would flip for the opposing player, and then you would alternate back and forth. The feature about this cabinet, there's two main ones that I wanted to discuss in this video. The first one is that my new cabinets now open from the back. And I know other companies, you see other companies if you're looking around that do that. Mine didn't used to do that. I got so many requests from people that I decided it would be a good idea for me to do the same thing. And so I now have air shocks, which are kind of like in a hatchback, uh, the trunk to a hatchback car, like with a glass hood or, or trunk, I mean. And so that opens up. close this back down. But the main thing I wanted to show you is there is a brand new game board package that just came out. So when these three-sided cabinets first started being made in about 2014, there was a game board that came out called the 1162. 1162. It's made by a company called Game Elf. Now the number of games on the board is always the title of the board. So the 1162 has 750 horizontal games and it has 412 vertical games. What made that board cool was it was the first board that allowed you to be able to switch where you're sitting by pressing a button. So when I say board, let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is what one of the game boards look like. And basically when you lift up that lid over there, like I just showed you inside, there's a little place where you slide that in. Uh, it kind of looks like a Nintendo cartridge, okay? And so prior to this 1162 board coming out, if you wanted to change where you're sitting, when you buy a game board, it can usually only play all horizontal games or a game board can play all vertical games. But there was never a board that combined both kinds of games and then allowed you to switch where you're sitting by pressing a button. And so on the 1162, you'd be playing over here. If you wanted to switch where you're sitting, you just hit the B button and then it would flip over there and you could get up and move your stool and sit over on that side and play the classic games. So for seven years, I have been waiting for someone to come out with an updated version of this 1162. And there's a couple reasons for that. One of the main reasons is that the 1162, when it came out, was really cool, but it's pretty obsolete now. One of the main problems that I have with it is that the graphics were really pixelated. Uh, they certainly didn't look like the originals. They would like in the preview, but as soon as you entered the game, uh, they did not look very great. They also had a really slow loading speed. It would take sometimes 10 or 15 seconds to load up games. Uh, whereas this new board that I'm about to show you is, you know, lightning fast. But the main problem that I didn't like with that 1162 game board was that it just didn't have a lot of games that I liked. Now, I know it said it had 750 games, but in terms of like famous, really fun games, it probably had maybe 10% of what this new board is going to have. And so the board that I'm going to be telling you about now, it's called a 3516. It's made by a company called Pandora. Pandora makes by far the best game boards that you can get. They are all the original versions of these machine or these games. You know, the original coin-operated version that you would see in an arcade. 
In addition, this board is one of the very few that I've seen that combines coin-operated original arcade games along with tons of original Atari and uh, Commodore 64 and Nintendo games. And so it's called the Family DX board. And I'm not sure why they call it Family. I think maybe because it has less maybe kind of violent fighting games and more like simple kind of Atari games. And so what this new board has, it has 3,000 games that you play on this side of the cabinet. And then if you press and hold the B button, just like that first board I was describing to you, the 1162, it'll flip from this, the horizontal side, now over to the vertical side. And so on this side of the cabinet, it has 516 games. If you move the cursor down through the different games, it'll show you a preview of what each game looks like. If you enter that game and choose two players, again, it will flip. So you'll play one game over here or, or one man until you get killed and then it will flip and you will alternate back and forth until the end of the game. If you press down, it scrolls one game at a time. If you press right, it will rapid scroll. In addition, you can create a favorites list on the side of the board over here. There's a little button. When the machine is on, if you press that button, there's a little menu in there that'll say set up a favorites list. Basically, you just go through the game list and then if you see a game that you like, you press the A button and it'll add a little star to it. And then the next time you turn it on, those games will show up first. Uh, moreover, you can do a search function. So if you press the one player start button, you can go down here and search through the different titles. And so back over to the horizontal side, on this, the horizontal side, you can also do a search. In addition, this side, because it has so many games, it will give you kind of subcategories by genre. So you can go through those individually if you're interested in those kind of games. Or you can spe specifically search out the title of the game that you're looking for. It also has a recently played list and the favorites list. So this 3000 game board does a lot of cool things that have never previously been available. The first thing that it does is, of course, it's the first board since the 1162 that allows you to play on this side of the cabinet and that side of the cabinet, all with one board. You just press the button. Number two, it's the first advanced board that allows you to use all three trackballs. So I've not been going with that 1162 board for quite some time, just because of all the problems that it had. So what I would recommend to my customers is I would say, look, you should get a Pandora board to play here and then another board to play over here. The downside to that setup was that you had to change between the game boards when you wanted to change where you were sitting and that setup didn't use all three trackballs on the cabinet. So, uh, and, and if, you're watching this video, having seen some of my previous videos, you, you might remember that. But if you're new, basically, and this, it seems like this is the way it should be, it should have been all along, but basically, you can now use all three trackballs. You can download and add games to this board. And to me, that's by far the coolest feature. So, on the side of the board, there's a little USB plug. So you can get a USB stick, there's a website that you can go to, and again, it has 3,516 games, but if you want to add more games, uh, there's a video that Pandora put up on YouTube. It's very simple. Basically, there's a website that you go to, you download these games, save them onto a USB stick, and then when you plug it in, it will just recognize them and know how to play them. So basically, anything above 3,000 are games that I downloaded myself, and I've only added a few thus far, but you can see... Some of the different titles that I've been able to add, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Skate or Die, uh, I have Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Castlevania, Zelda, Metroid, lots of different Super Mario versions, SimCity, and so in addition to being able, being able to download and add games, oh, so the platforms you can do, you can do Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, uh, something called SNK, which was a brand. Uh, they've got a lot of games. And another last platform is called MAME, M-A-M-E, which is an acronym. It's kind of a catch-all, but there's thousands of different MAME titles. Uh, the other thing that you can do now with this board is you can play four-player games. So again, through that USB port, 
If you want, during checkout, you could add these PlayStation style controllers. They're not actual PlayStation controllers because these ones use a USB. But I've got this USB switcher, and if you want, you can plug that in, and then you can do... So, and this confuses some people on the website. So you always get all four of the joysticks. But if you get this option, those two joysticks are gonna be sitting down here. There's a little coin box on the front. And when you open that, this is where the coins would drop through the coin slot. I'll have those controllers sitting down in there. And you could do games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, basically on the game list, anything that says four players, you could do player one, player two, and then you could have somebody standing here using these controllers for player three and player four. And then four people could play, uh, for example, games like The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, so I wanted to keep this video around 10 minutes. Uh, it's late, it's almost midnight. And so I need to go to bed. But like I said, this option is uh, brand new and I wanted to get something up on the website so people could see it. Uh, so in summation, you've got the 3,516 game board that is now available. It will replace all other boards. There's no other boards like it. There's no other boards on the market that you can buy that allow you to uh, use all three trackballs. You can download and add unlimited games. You can do four-player games using PlayStation controllers. You can create a favorites list. Oh, one last thing. You can create save points. So if you're in a game, and let's say you're on like level nine, you can press and hold the start button, and when you do that, a window will pop up. It'll say load, create save point, or exit. You can create a save point, turn the cabinet off. When you come back the next day, you turn that game on, you can load up the save point and pick up right where you left off. That's also another feature that is not available on any other board. Uh, and so according to the Pandora manufacturer, they have two gig of RAM on the board specifically set aside for creating save points. So you can pick up where you left off. Uh, other than that, check back in a couple of days. Today's the 12th. By like April 14th or 15th, I'm going to have a much more thorough kind of professional video where I'll go over more of the specific details about the cabinet and my company and tell you uh, a little more. But for now, this video is going to be up on the website and uh, tell you a little more about some new options that are available.